subject, which is steroids. I already have another uh, video on my website about steroids and I received quite a few comments on it as well. Um, people, generally speaking, liked it that I say as it is. So I would like to add to that today. Okay, so as I explained it in my previous video, I don't recommend you taking steroids unless you're planning on standing on stage. If you don't plan on competing, then I don't recommend taking steroids. Um, however, many people choose to take steroids even if they don't want to compete for cosmetical reasons. Obviously, they would like to look better. So uh, many people start taking steroids even though they are not fully aware of the side effects and, you know, what it could cause in their bodies. Uh, generally speaking, for women, it is a little bit more harsh than for men. And it is basically because steroids are anabolic and androgenic. Anabolic means they build muscle. Androgenic means uh, the male sex characteristics. So what are they? They are the uh, thinning of the hair, you know, the body hair all over your body the deepening of the voice and also the enlargement of the clitoris. Um, most of these side effects are irreversible, so women have to be aware of that. Um, also, steroids put pressure on your heart, on your liver, on your kidneys, you know, on your organs, so you have to be aware of that too. I always recommend that you do your research before you put anything into your body. Now, that is very important. In, in a separate uh, video, I will talk about the steroids for women, specifically for women, because most coaches don't know what women could use. It also depends on what they are preparing for. You know, if you are only preparing for um, a figure competition, then obviously you don't need as much or uh, you can get away with a very, very little amount of certain things. Uh, however, if you're getting ready for a physique or bodybuilding competition, you might have to consider taking uh, more. I'm not just talking about the uh, dosages, but I'm talking about the variety of the uh, steroids as well. Uh, there are certain things that women can take, I say can, however, uh, how your body reacts it's down to your genetics. People always say that, um, you know, if, <laughs> I've heard this before, if I ate how you eat and if I took the steroids that you take, I would look like you. No, you wouldn't. And it's not only because we might not have the same mindset, let's put that aside, but this is where genetics come into play, you know. Um, how your body processes food, how your body, body processes steroids. Uh, this is not down to you, this is down to your genetics. Uh, some people can take certain steroids, other people can't. Some people can take higher dosages, other people can't. And this is actually genetics. Genetics is not only how your muscles look, how rounded your muscles, you know. This is, the, or, or how aesthetic your look is. That's not only, that is genetics. Genetics is how your body reacts to certain things. And that is the food as well, because if you have, for example, IBS, then you won't be able to eat certain foods. You know, if you are lactose intolerant, you won't be able to eat certain foods. So this is also genetics. What your body can work with and how your body deals with or processes the steroids as well and you know how much side effects or the side of how heavy the side effects are that you're, you're getting from the steroids because you will get side effects you know uh, there's uh, no questions about it <laughs> everyone gets certain side effects it's just not all the same side effects and not you know, the same amount 
Um, probably you've heard some girls talking and they haven't got a voice anymore. That is one of the side effects. So I don't need to tell you this because I think this is one of the most common things that people always uh, comment on. Um, and I'm not saying this, you know, to downgrade those ladies. I'm just saying that that is one of the side effects of steroids as well. And that is down to your genetics, how your body deals with it. So some girls lose their voices, others don't. You know, some girls lose their hair, others don't. It depends on the amount of steroids you take and it depends on your genetics, how your body deals with it. However, I always said that less is more, but some people and some coaches always like to give more instead of less. Maybe just to be sure, I don't know. So anyway, what I'm planning to do is basically a series of videos um, during my contest prep, my current contest prep, continuing on after the competitions, going into off season as well. And I would like to share with you all my meals. I would like to share with you all my trainings. I know I, I already post my training videos on uh, Instagram and you know in my stories and um, on my YouTube channel as well. However, it will be something different. I would like to give more explanation of the exercises or maybe giving you more pointers how to do those exercises and I'm going to share all my uh, steroid cycles as well, what I'm taking, how much I'm taking and on the top of it if you have any questions uh, I'm more than happy to answer those questions as well in a video so you can send me those questions this part, the contest prep um, in season and then going into off season after the competitions, that is going to be a members only part on my website where uh, for a minimal fee you can get access to all these videos that I'm going to post several times a week. Uh, so it's going to be my nutrition, what I'm eating, how much I'm eating, you know, my training, how much cardio I do, everything basically, my cycles, how much I'm taking, what I'm taking, how often I take, everything I'm going to tell you, and um, the uh, condition check videos as well, I'm going to post there so you can see how my body changes from week to week. Okay, so that's all for today, and I'll see you in the next video.